yes hello everyone welcome to our next episode again continuing the 2009 specimen paper for human and social biology so let's move to question 53 so as for 53 which of the following activities lead to what is called ear pollution we have burning of rubbish use of pesticide in agriculture release of industrial gases in the atmosphere release of ozone detergent into the soil so the correct answer in terms of um, combination so we have burning of rubbish that is that must be a part of your answer release of industrial gas so these are the two so that seemed to be um, option B, right? So option B is the correct answer. Let's move to 54. Water changes into water vapor by the process of C, right? So that is evaporation. Move down to question 55. The correct sequence of process in the large-scale purification of water, screening, sedimentation, filtration, chlorination, chlorination at the first, screening, sedimentation, filtration, chlorination, and we have um, filtration, screening, sedimentation, chlorination. The correct answer is option A, where you have screening, sedimentation, filtration, and um, chlorination. But I'm looking at, I'm seeing something here where C is also saying the same thing as A. So we have two correct answers there. So 55, A is the correct answer, but as you realize, C is actually saying the same thing. Let's move down to question 56. Which of the following is a sign or symptom of lead poisoning? And the correct answer is um, D, right? So, lead poisoning normally affects the nervous system. So, brain damage. Move up to question 57. Which of the following activities can lead to eutrophication? See which combination here. Farmers applying fertilizer to crop. Release detergent, sewage, industrial waste into waterways. So um, D is the correct answer here. So all three are accepted. Move on to 58. Which of the following statement is true about pit latrine? They should be dug one meter deep. Disinfectant should be added to the pit. They should not be placed near water, near wells. So this is, and this of course is water wells or water source. So C is the correct answer there. Moving down to 59. The bottom liner of a landfill serves to prevent D is the correct answer, liquid from the trash from drying out. Move to the final question. So uh, Mr. Murphy puts all his soda can in a bin for cans only. Which of the following best describe the method he is employing to control solid waste? Um, that would be recycle and that is D So once again guys, um, welcome to the end again if you're new to the YouTube channel Please remember to click on the subscription button Leave your comments in the comment section of the video and of course share the video So once again, thanks again. We're out of here